stand for the reading of God's holy word so my beloved what is the gospel according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 4 the gospel is embodied in these words from the word of God in your Bible Paul said, inspired by the power of the Holy Spirit of God, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached, unto you which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. Uh, ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to to the scriptures. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 2 uh, Paul says, For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Basically Paul was saying I was educated in the best schools. You may be seated. I was educated in the best schools if you want to talk about Aristotle and Plato and philosophy, I can, I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. But I am determined not to know anything but Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And Paul said that because he was convinced that once you meet Christ, you have everything. Amen, somebody. Beloved David Nicholas, the late pastor and founder of Gospel Boot Camp, broke down and explained 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4, phrase by phrase, thusly. He wrote, regarding, first of all, the gospel is not an afterthought or something to be included once in a while, but is of first importance, first of all, and at the heart of our ministries. And if it is not at the heart of our ministries, then we have no ministries, and I'm adding that. It is, the first, it is of first importance because it is through the gospel that God works to take people from death to life. I have a preacher friend. He was the only survivor of a plane crash with a West Virginia University college team. His name is Ed Carter. He was lost and on his way to hell, but his mother, for some reason from Texas, told him, Ed, don't get on that plane. I've had a premonition. I've had a vision. That plane is going to crash. And uh, he did not get on that plane. He obeyed his mother and did not get on that plane. He missed a game, or he was going to miss a game by not getting on that plane, and that plane crashed, and everybody was killed. Ed is still living. He trusted Jesus Christ as his Savior, and 
became an evangelist and has preached the gospel around the world and the name of his ministry is death unto life like we just read dear friend if you had gotten on that ill fated plane that day where would you have gone heaven or hell if you can ask the, that question if you are sure that you would have gone to hell then you need to hear what I'm getting ready to tell you I've already shared with you the gospel the death burial and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ as it is clearly explained in the Holy Scriptures and so the question is do you believe the gospel do you believe in your heart are you willing to believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins was buried and rose again uh, please remember now that our Bible tells us uh, that we need a Savior because of our sins so first accept the fact that you are a sinner and that you have broken God's laws and so have I and so has the Pope and so has Billy Graham everybody has the Bible says in Romans 3.23 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God we have all failed God black white red and yellow everybody secondly accept the fact that there is a penalty a punishment for our sin always for the Bible states in Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death. We die physically because of our sin and our body is carried and buried in a grave. Our soul goes straight to hell if we have never trusted Christ as Savior. There is no purgatory and there is no limbo. There is no in-between. It is up or down. It is heaven or hell and so thirdly accept the fact dear friend that you are on the road to hell right now you might be sitting in your easy chair if you have never trusted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior you're on your way to hell right now you might be on the treadmill walking as fast as you can of course not going anywhere but you're on your way to hell if you have never trusted Christ as Savior Jesus Christ said in Matthew 10:28, and fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell hell is an awful place hell is bad news but I have some good news for you uttered from the mouth of Jesus Christ in John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish perish in hell that is but have everlasting life just believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ dear friend that he died on the cross for your sins was buried and rose again Pray and ask him to save your soul. I'll be glad to lead you in what is commonly called the sinner's prayer. Repeat after me and mean it from your heart, phrase by phrase. Holy Father God, I acknowledge that I am a sinner and that I have done evil things in my life. such as breaking some of your Ten Commandments such as lying and dishonesty lusting after people and things coveting what others have and then lying about things and lying to other people Holy Father God have mercy and grace upon such wretched people as we are 
have mercy and grace upon my soul. And for Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. As I now believe with all of my heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. That he died on the cross for my sins, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul. And help me to repent of my sins past. And help me to turn away from my evil ways. And to follow you for the rest of my life. In Jesus Christ's name I pray and for his sake. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you believed in your heart today in the Lord Jesus Christ and that he died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead on the third day, allow me to say congratulations to you on doing the most important thing in life and that is believing on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, Please go to GospelLightSociety.com and read my pamphlet, What to Do After You Enter Through the Door. Jesus Christ said in John 10:9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Dear friend, if you trusted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today, uh, please email me at dw3 at GospelLightSociety.com or one of our other uh, emails on one of our other sites. Uh, there is some free material that uh, we want to send you free of charge. If you have a prayer request, please email that to us as well, and we will pray for you until you tell us to stop. Until next time, my beloved, God loves you, we love you, and may God bless you real good is my prayer.